but God watched you suffer and you, you had your share. He greatly closed your weary eyes and took you in his care. God has you in his keeping. We have you in our hearts. Your memory is our keepsake, and with that we'll never part. God saw you getting tired, and he cured was not to be, so he put his arms around you and whispered, Come with me. With tearful eyes we watched you surrender and saw you fade away. Although we love you dearly, we could not make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating, hard-working hot hands to rest, God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best. And she was such a grand lady then. I'm sure it's hard for y'all to get up here and maybe say a little memory you have of her, but whoever wants to come up here can come up here now. You're welcome to come and speak if anyone would like to come, come up here to speak. Saturday, Wednesday, 
Thursday, Friday night was movie night. A lot of good memories with mom. We'll always cherish those. But again, I want to, on behalf of my family, thank everybody for attending. We appreciate your prayers and continued prayers. Thank you so much. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. 
In my father's house are many mansions. Our sister Connie has already accepted, received, and seen, and been in her new mansion. She's already reached there, her mansion. Jesus spoke nothing but truth. He said, to him, if it wasn't so, I would have told you. He said, so I'll go prepare a place for you. Every single one of you that accepted the Lord today, the Lord is preparing a place for you. Preparing a place for us. I'll go prepare a place for you and I will come again and receive you unto myself we know that the signs of the times we see ugly things are happening the world is gone crazy the hmm? it is upside down here, take a picture of all the pa all they're the confused right there. They're I will come for you so there are two ways he comes for us He's coming in the rapture to appear in the clouds and take us out of this ugly, evil world, or we're going to him and he comes for us. He came for such a kind. He for her. He saw her suffering. He says, so that where I am, there you may be also. And wherever I go, you may know. You will know the way that I go. Thomas. A lot of people understand that Thomas was known as Doubting Thomas, but there's a couple of other stories where he doubts Jesus. And so there may be some people that doubt God. I doubt it. How can we really know? So Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? Nosotros no sabemos, Señor, para dónde vas. ¿Cómo podemos saber el camino? This is what Jesus said. You've heard this before. So Jesus said unto him, Thomas, if you're a doubter, you can put your name there. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. No man. precious, precious vessel. This is a vessel. Every single one of you are a vessel. Your vessel is either for good or for evil. This vessel was for good. This beautiful, beautiful vessel that had her beautiful spirit. She was so sweet, so kind to so many of you and helped you out, fed many of you. We lay it down. Con todo respeto. <coughs> we lay it down. And Father, we want to thank you. We want to thank you, Lord God, for Miss Connie. Thank you, Father God, that you have allowed the family to have her for 87 years. She lived a life without you at one time. And then she dedicated her life to you, and she understood the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you, Father that you, Lord God, will one day resurrect this body and glorify it. And her spirit has gone home to be with the Lord and let there be peace and comfort in the souls of everyone that is here. And we thank you for your word. In Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. 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 God bless you all. Thank you for being here. Amen. How about a floor?